Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just want to show you something really cool. Uh, if you're into uh, setting up automated reports with something like MATLAB, just want to show you a trick I just found. Um, now, I've only started this process maybe 10 minutes ago, talking to somebody overseas uh, that we all seem to admire and love. I uh, was sort of um, quiet when I said that this system that I'm working on, called the AK-47, the training internal training system that bangs out reports um, and how I could do it so fast uh, in let's say two months. Well this is one of the reasons using MATLAB but uh, this is one of those cool little features that I found called uh, this is using uh, the uh, it's called uh, report the report um, yeah, let me just pull it up here report explorer now this is all through a GUI within MATLAB okay so I've got this tutorial I'm going to show you that is part of uh, the demos of from from out of box MATLAB 2014A. All right. So what I'm doing is is I've got scripts ready to go, but I want to automate them. You know you know what I mean? I want to automate those scripts. So there's a little tutorial here and a little component as part of the report explorer I've shown before in previous videos. Uh, but this figure loop component and it enables you to basically automatically uh, iterate through various uh, loops and it's very quick to bang out like really fast. There's a little tutorial here. So let me just run it. Um, oh, uh, and the trick here is right here. Run it with this demo fig loop tutorial. So you just set edit fig loop tutorial. Okay. And now hopping into MATLAB. Now, when I run that command, that will bring up this uh, report explorer with this setup in my report explorer. Okay, so here's all the separate components I've shown before. But the interesting ones is report um, figure figures in report, or uh, sorry, the figure loop, which you just talked about. So what we can do is you can set up a script that will run like this, okay? Uh, generate all your figures uh, that you want out of the figure loop, uh, put it into a handle, and then literally in two seconds, it'll dump out all those figures in a nice, easy report. Let me show you what I mean. So this is very fast to set up. I, I've just been doing it for a day, and um, I'll probably show this in another a video in the final of what I'm looking at and how I'm going to proceed with all my reports for this system uh, with the embedded script. But the cool thing is, here's the figure uh, fig loop figures script, which is a MATLAB uh, script. So it's going to run it in the Explorer, and uh, let me just show you what that script does. And again, this is just a tutorial. So basically, it's going to generate these uh, set of figures, and then. Um, it's going to run all that here. You know, I'm just loading in basically uh, images, I think. I, I don't know. I haven't really identified that. But um, from there, uh, it'll basically everything's subdivided. It has a title page, chapter, another chapter, and then it's going to dump out all those figures. Okay, so watch when I run it, which is this little lightning bolt. Off she goes. I, um, off she goes. Blah, blah, blah. Here's all the images. Boom. Okay, uh, now I just gotta load up that tutorial, which is, or that PDF, which is this one right here. And this is what it looks like. Um, here's the title, here's the chapter with the abstract. You can customize it on each component. Uh, table of contents will automatically generate for you because you define it, list of tables. It's kind of like a research paper, pretty nice. Um, chapter and it will display the code if you want uh, which is showed you that figure M script thing a table uh, another set of table contents that chart that table and guess what here's now starting to dump out each each figure and some other stuff don't ask me but all done in this little GUI component here with all these all the, all these other embedded components that is the final result but here's the other cool thing now, that's a PDF. Now, I've shown this before. I want an HTML. Uh, let's, uh, well, let me just save it. And then run it again. Uh, 
So here's the final output in the embedded web browser of uh, MATLAB. So I can put that easily on my website or anywhere I want to deploy it. Now, I've never done this before, but why not just uh, run a, mm, I don't know, uh, a Word document with an RTF format. I mean, this is cool. I mean, this saves you a lot of time. So the question came up from someone within the uh, overseas, uh, warning dialogue, blah, blah, blah. I've never, like I said, I've never done that. Okay, whatever. But you get the idea. Let me just see if uh, it will run again. Maybe it may fail. I don't know. I've never done this before. So that's the little status. Converting RTF to doc, report complete. Let me just go back to, and there's the name of our doc. Let's see that um, file. Uh, I guess it's going to be this one. Sure, why not? There you go. All automatically generated. So guess what? I now have the capability to automatically generate reports if it's going to be a uh, Word doc, PDF, whatever. But uh, that's how I'm going to do it on the back end. And I just want to show you that. That is power. And I keep saying, this is why I love the power of MATLAB. MATLAB, my always longtime and loyal girlfriend. Talk to you later.